Hi everyone, let's talk a bit about slow motion and why it's so impressive. To start with a normal phone you either have slow motion shots at 120 frames per second or 240 frames per second. Both are cool, but not as cool as on the Sony Xperia XC Premium which can record up to 960 frames per second. A really impressive feat and in this video I will explain why and why you need perfect lighting to get that result. So like we know a video is built out of images. The more FPS the more pictures that are taken in one second. For instance in the 24 frames per second video you basically have 24 pictures in one second. Now remember this, because this is why perfect lighting matters a lot in slow motion shots and also the reason why it's only possible to record it at 720p instead of full HD or 4K. So to explain we have to go back to the frames itself, so the single pictures that are taken in that one second. So for instance when you shoot a video at 30 frames per second, it just takes 0.03 seconds for one picture to be taken. That means it only has that limited time to capture all the details. Which seems very impressive, but when we go to slow motion shots, it even gets more impressive than that. So let's start with a video that is taken at 240 frames per second. The time to capture one single image is reduced a lot with only having 0 0.0416 of a second to capture one single image and all the details. I can't even explain how fast that is. And that again seems nothing compared to what the Sony Xperia XE Premium managed to do. This is also why the Sony Xperia Premium has a memory stack sensor. This allows for 5 times faster data capture and why you are able to capture those 960 frames per second shots. With a normal sensor, you simply cannot do this. The transfer of data is just too slow. So now let's get into the number game of how long it takes to capture one single frame when you shoot at 960 frames per second. Now this is really impressive. Because it only takes 0 0.0010 of a second to capture that one single frame. Again, this is all the time it has to capture all the details that you are trying to capture. And this is why it's only at 720p, because the bigger the size, the more detail it has to capture. If they would have bumped the video up to Full HD, it would have so much more data to transfer and therefore the single picture would have been so much bigger. And that in return means that it has to work so much faster. Something a phone simply can't do at this moment. But this is why the perfect lighting is needed and why it is also limited. So far they cannot make that slow motion longer. And while it takes time to get used to it, you'll be very happy with the result if the lighting is good and you press that button at the correct time. Now while Sony's marketing makes it look so much better, your real life results probably wouldn't be at that level. But it's still impressive and you can really capture stunning shots of it. You can check out Michael Fisher and his channel Rapid Nadion for some awesome shots as well. In his video RC Boats in Slow Mo, you can really see some cool shots that makes you want to capture those stunning shots yourself. Well there is a Titanic in that video, it doesn't crash into an iceberg, so maybe spoiler alert. Though a small boat does almost hit it. Also I really want to say you should check out that channel, Rapid Nadion and those RC Boats there's a buttload of work going into that. I can tell by just looking at a video they did on the Titanic and how they built it. That's a huge amount of work. So really if you didn't check it out, be sure to check it out and of course subscribe to that channel. I will end the video with that as well and uh, place it on the top of the comments. Either way I hoped I explained clearly why it's so impressive and why it's at a lower resolution and why you need perfect lighting. Anyway, have a good one!